Oh, hey, uh, welcome to this. Uh, of course, like the first stream that I put a lot of effort to is is a goddamn presentation. But uh, you know what? I'm a nerd. I shouldn't be surprised with myself because let's be honest, I'm not. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, today I'll be talking about a brief overview of what personal branding is, why you would establish it, and how to create one. Oh, that's awesome. I didn't know mods got emotes. So, basic, basic definition. Ooh, I just not like it when my mouse goes off. <laughs> basic definition. So, personal branding refers to the creation and sustaining of a public image for an individual. As opposed to regular branding, which is seen for more of a company or an organization. Um... Your personal brand is focused on you, who you are, the stuff you create. It's what you enjoy, what you're good at, what you're educated in. Really, your personal brand is quite literally just the public image of yourself. So think like any celebrities or other Twitch streamers, they all have a public brand, a public image, just by the nature of being public figures. So, why would you have one? Well, as I said, if you're already a public figure, you kind of automatically have one. Um, but if you're not, then you would have one generally to make yourself stand out. This is something that I've seen for a lot of freelancers, particularly, as well as like any successful YouTuber or Twitch streamer. They have their own brand that allows them to separate themselves from the masses. You can also create community. Um, you're finding and bringing together like-minded people, and that's generally how you build up your fan base, is by finding that community. So, you know, oftentimes a community exists for both broad and specific interest. You know, if you're interested in stained glass, there's community for that. Engraving jewelry, there's one for that too. Even if the community is small, it can allow these people to collect in one spot, and it may end up being a lot larger than you think. And last but not least, if you are a one-person show like the hundreds, if not thousands, of freelance artists, voice actors, streamers, all those kinds of creatives that exist on Twitter and YouTube and I almost said Facebook and uh, Twitch. Hello, Lothane. Um, you know, when you're a one-person show, you you are, as I said, your brand. You need to act like if you want to have your freelancing stuff succeed to the point. Well, I guess to any level, really, you have to own that personal brand. So, that was some background and why you might have one. Um, the, the next part, which is honestly what I'm the most excited about, is how you would establish one. Um, which honestly isn't as hard as you'd think. Uh, I certainly thought it was a lot harder than this. So, there are three important questions that make up the core to which, like, to build your personal brand upon. The first one is, what do you want to be known for? Are you an artist? Then you probably want to be known for your art. Um, you know, your unique style or subject matter or the medium you use. Hello, Stardust. Um, when people think of your username, what is the first thing you want them to think of? Um, that generally is a guidepost for a lot of the other stuff that encompasses your personal brand. The second question, which is very important in terms of your scope, is who is your audience? There is a great... I, I, I don't remember where the quote from comes from, so forgive me, but 
it, it's along the lines of you can't appeal to everyone because you will end up appealing to no one. Which generally means you can't just have an all-encompassing brand. Because that way you're never going to find anyone and you're honestly just going to be very bland and kind of just fall into the background. <laughs> Thank you. I'm trying for the I'm trying for like the good chill vibes. Um as you see lo-fi and chill vibes are what I'm going for. Um so your audience is who you'll be gearing your content towards. So, you know, the first question is what do you want to be known for? And then who your audience is is who you want to know you if that makes any sense um if you make your anime art you probably don't want to try to appeal to appeal to horror enthusiasts if you know what i mean like you have to make sure you choose an appropriate audience so the last one here is what will you create this is the more exciting part because this question is what you're actually doing you know um there's a near infinite options in what content you can actually create you can stream upload youtube videos create tiktoks post art on instagram and twitter or pinterest uh you can make podcasts blog posts technically writing books is also a form of content um but even with what I just mentioned, it's there, there's so much more you can do because content can be both online and offline, you know? Um, the important thing I want to point out here is that your content doesn't just pertain to your platform and it doesn't just pertain to the medium that you use to express your content, but it also depends on your topics which this is why it's the third question because ultimately what you want to be known for and who your audience is will influence what topics and what kinds of things you create so when you put this all together you have a personal brand um now there is another term for a personal brand which is also known as oh <laughs> Wow, I hope that did not freak out on the stream. This is your value proposition. Your value proposition is the answer to most cons like viewers and consumers' thoughts of what's in it for me. What does this person, what does this brand offer to me that is unique enough for me to spend my time or money towards? So... This, this is where I'm going to drop a little hot take, <laughs> which I really wish it wasn't a hot take, but it, being on Twitter for a while shows me that I'm not... It, it is. The, the uncomfortable truth of this is that no one will care about you unless you have something of value to offer. I'm, I'm going to let that sit for a hot second before I, I go into that. No one will care about you unless you have something of value to offer. So, whether consciously or subconsciously, everyone needs to know what's in it for them. People want to know how to improve maybe their knowledge, or they want to be entertained, or they want better skills. And so, it's one of those things where if you're not speaking towards a a need or a want of a person they're not gonna care so that's why you want to be able to like target a need or a want of that target audience that you're going for eh and and yes you're you're right stardust this it very much is a fact but unfortunately a lot of people i i i've talked to a lot of people and i've seen plenty around the internet where it's like I've been doing this for five years and I haven't seen anything it's like well what are you doing oh I'm, d I'm trying to copy this person like I I will raise my hand and completely admit 
when I was in like middle school, I tried to be Markiplier. I wanted to be that I, I wanted to be that successful person, that kid who made a bajillion dollars off of <laughs> off of doing let's plays. But it was one awful. Uh just because you know, seventh grader playing Minecraft on his really garbage laptop. But also I was trying I wasn't like letting myself be myself. I wasn't I was trying to use someone else's personal brand and just plagiarize it. So no wonder it didn't go anywhere. So, uh, to really drive this home, I have two examples to show. Uh, the first is an established cr content creator I personally adore, and the second is a broken down examination of what I'm doing. Uh, and, and that one I'll dig into a bit, but first, um, Cabal, most, the <laughs> at least a couple of you here know this adorable, lovable dumbass. <laughs> it's okay to be inspired, but trying to be the same as someone else would just not help you start it out. Yeah, no, exactly, Graffy. It's, I, I feel that's a, what a lot of content creators make the mistake of, which I understand because to an extent it makes sense to emulate what you personally find entertaining but people don't usually stop at emulating. They go on to straight up plagiarizing. And, and that's when you actually have a problem. Emulating and doing your own thing and having that starting point isn't the bad part. It's when you go a step beyond that and just straight up try to be someone else. Alrighty, so Cabal VT, our favorite ca frightening caffeinated cultist. So cabs uh they confuse inspiration for imitation basically happens wait oh yeah absolutely 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 right on the money um so cabal he said this himself but his general niche is horror and the personality he's going for is a campy horror host with his audience being horror fans artists aspiring content creators and so on so I, th those first three are a little, a little out of order. <laughs> Hi, Pebble. Um, so, what he wants to be known for is the campy horror host. It's something akin to the Crypt Keeper or the hosts of Mystery Science, Th Mystery Science Theater Three Thousand. I can English. Um, he said that he doesn't want to be what's scary. He wants to be like an easier gateway for people who wouldn't normally be interested in horror. And I'll be honest, it worked because I was not interested in horror as much until I stumbled across him. Um, so that's the what he wants to be known for. His audience is the horror fans, the artists, the aspiring content creators, which is like a subcategory, or I guess like a special set of people from the general niche of horror. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Sorry. So, if you ever heard his sales pitch, you know what he's about. Horror media, voice acting, art, content creation. Now, here's the thing. That alone is a more niche section of the general topic of horror. But Cab also has unique advantages that give his content a special spin. For example... He's had multiple years uh, as a haunter, someone who acts in haunted attractions. He has also acquired extensive voice acting experience through this, which it greatly influences the persona he portrays on stream. Additionally, he has his own unique personal life philosophy, and as an established content creator, he naturally has content creation experience. He was on YouTube for a good, oh, I don't remember, a year and a half, two years, I forget what he said, before he made the jump to Twitch to start streaming there. So he had a good amount of consistent content creation under his belt long before he got to where he is now. So... 
there there's also the part that he has a unique just aura about him he is incredibly genuine and caring and kind which has allowed him to create a strong community that is just as in kind and supportive and inclusive and that really helps him to his advantage must much to his distress at times now for myself um I there so aside from the questions I brought up earlier, there are three that are kind of the prologue to that. It's figuring out what makes yourself unique, what you're interested in, what you do outside of your normal day to day, whether that be work or school. In my case, it's work because I'm graduating from college. And I have to do adult things. So, examples of stuff that makes me unique: I have ADHD. I have a college education, which is. This is half of it. This is half of <laughs> my college education is social media marketing and marketing in general. Uh, and also, I'm just a chaotic little gremlin. <laughs> um, yes, exactly. Stardust. Adult stuff is gross. Um, things I'm interested in. Greek mythos. I drink tea and coffee like it's the only thing that I use to survive because sometimes it feels that way. I, I play an ungodly amount of video games. Surprised by surprises no one. And uh bidness. I know much bidness thanks to <laughs> thanks to my education and my work experience. And then stuff that I enjoy doing outside of work, because honestly that's a great place to start in terms of what interests you enough to show off. So I love to learn things. I it's kind of hilarious to an extent because I have a Skillshare subscription, LinkedIn Learning, I Google and YouTube stuff like a lot, and I've earned a lot of random certifications for random things. <laughs> um, oh yeah, I love Greek mythos. I find it incredibly fascinating. Um, so in addition to the learning new things, I like to try new things which is a great pairing uh but this one comes more from from the necessity of stimulation from the adhd i i actually like trying to apply stuff so you know the stuff that you're seeing on screen right now the uh <laughs> are you having these screaming about trend stuff uh i mean yeah that's something that is definitely something um Pebble, bring that up again at the end, because I, I am going to have, like, a little AMA at the end of this. Uh, and then, art. I love art. I, I find it fascinating, and I genuinely want to get better at it, so it's something that I've been working on. Now, going to the questions that I mentioned earlier. What do I want to be known for? I, I, <laughs> I just want to be known as a silly dog. It's just, it's just what I do. Um, who do I want to appeal to? Aspiring artists, content creators, and entrepreneurs, and also just stressed peeps who need a break from life because, God, life is too stressful, and I just, I want to chill with people, and I want to find people who want to chill. <laughs> Hence why I went for a really cozy vibe with my stream overlays. I just, I need that in my life, and I figured that there were other people too. Uh, and the last thing is, what will I create? So, cozy and chill space, informational presentations, collections of helpful resources, and chaos, because I am chaos, and uh, it's just how I be. It just be that way. <laughs> um, so, how I got all of this is, uh, <laughs> this, this is going to sound possibly stupid, but hear me out on this so i asked my partner um i so i personally struggle with thinking about positive things about myself so i went to the person who has been with me for nearly four years and is unabashedly biased <laughs> because between be, between her like opinions to the questions i asked her and my pessimism somewhere was a happy medium and that's how i got these answers uh, I also thought about these for almost a week, because I actually 
I, you know, I care about this. I want to do well as a content creator, and that's what I recommend. Um, is that you act, you do, you should take time to answer questions like this, because ultimately it's going to be very important for you to know the answer to this question. Um. Nope, that was it. That was the thought. All right, so here's the thing. It's time for your assignment. That's right. You didn't think you were getting away with that, that easily, did you? No. No, no, no. I'm, I'm treating y'all like how I treat myself. I, if, if I'm not... <laughs> if I'm not given something to do, I won't do a ding-damn thing. So this is what I'm asking you all to do. I, I want you to choose what you want to be known for. This can be a part of your personality, a skill, whatever, but you need to choose something. Next, I want you to choose your target audience. This should start with a broad niche like horror, fantasy, sci-fi, or it can be something closer to an aesthetic like cottagecore or punk, or it can be uh, something like a skill such as um, like broad communities like artists or um, makers or animators. And then I want you to take your broad niche and use it to narrow down your content. Choosing your content in the context of your niche is what's really important here. So think about what specific aspects you are interested in and focus on them. Specific uh, mediums, skills, or topics are all valid here. Really, like when it comes to content creation, nothing's off the table. A absolutely nothing. Um, as long as you're not hurting anyone, I feel like I have to put that in there. <laughs> no, you're valid. No, you bell. Um, and to make sure that y'all do that, because I recognize all of you suckers, uh, I want you to tweet at me or DM me on Discord or on Twitter and let me know what you've come up with because I am a massive business nerd and I love discussing this stuff. And I find it absolutely fascinating what people do when it comes to this realm. So I would love to actually like discuss it with y'all. Uh, and then yeah, here here are, like the the sources I went to to find all this information. Uh, I'll let y'all have a minute to like screenshot this if you want. Uh, I highly recommend any of these websites. Also, I, I added Cabal because of course I gotta plug the cult leader. Um, but. These are all fantastic resources if you want to delve deeper into marketing and especially digital marketing. All right. Now that that's done, we're going to go over here. Oh, wow. That looks horrifically cursed, but it's fine. All right. Um... Wow, why is that so damn stretched? All right, anyways. Um, so here's the AMA part. Ask me questions. I have tea, so I, I can be here for as long as I need to be. Uh, Pebble, I saw that you have a question, so go right ahead. If anyone else has questions, feel free to ask. I'm more than happy to answer them. That's literally the whole reason I'm doing this, is I, I want to help people with their social media questions. Because social media is incredibly fucking important <laughs> in this day and age. Just go ahead and ask, y'all. You can just you can just ask. I need to fix that chat box. I don't like the fact that it's so like squished. Well, for better all of that, no, really. What if we have a hard time remembering to, like, do other forms of marketing? Remembering Twitter exists. Okay, so in terms of actually utilizing social media, because that is, that is a great question, Pebble. I love that. Um, it's one of those things where you have to build a system. Uh, and I realize that that sounds super cheesy and cliche, but like, hear me out for a second. So as I mentioned, I have ADHD. 
And I very much feel that if I, like, don't do it or don't see it immediately, I'm going to forget it exists. So, for me, I quite literally wrote out a checklist for when I do content. So, like, I did the announcement tweet yesterday. I did the, like, hey, I'm going live, like, now, retweet today. I'm actually, I need to go back on Twitter and delete that. Um, and then, you know, later in the week, I have a different process. Um, it, it really is one of those things where the process is going to help you and it's just going to take time to build it up. You, by no means, you don't have to do it perfectly from the beginning. You don't have to do that at all. Um, so what I would do is, uh, set, like put in a system, like put notes for like steps to do on your phone or even in a notebook or something and have something either on your computer or a uh, smart device and have reminders for when you need to do those steps. Um, I, I would say that's, that's the biggest thing. Um, and, and auto tweet, got it. I mean, yes, actually a, a tweet scheduler is a big thing. Um, and I don't know what program you're using to stream, but if you connect Twitter to it, you can automatically have it send a go live tweet. So there's that. Uh, okay. Stardust question is if you're an artist and you want to get your artwork to get more engagement, What's a good way to do that? Is it just about how you brand your art? Um, no, not necessarily. So, but I actually really like the question about engagement. So, uh, I will need to link a video. So, I'm going to find that while I'm talking. So, if my brain just kind of trails off, uh, <laughs> forgive me for a moment. So, engagement is one of those very fickle things to figure out. Um... Engagement really depends on what you're posting where. And I know that sounds very, like, very dumb. But, um, in general, you want to start, like, building your audience. So, the, the thing with any social platform is that you, if you don't have an audience... Like, if you don't have a following already, you're not going to get a lot of engagement, which can be a very uh, dangerous, cyclical thing. But there is a way to get out of that. So the first step that you want to try and do here, if you want your art to get more engagement, is to get more followers. Um, the way that you get more followers is by engaging with the community that you want to target, by uh, jumping on trends relating to that that community and those interests, um, and just generally being more involved. By by being more involved, you are going to be getting yourself out there more. Um, the other thing that will help with that is hashtags. Hashtags are really great if you're able to figure out ones that are rel like relevant but also not overly saturated um so unless it's like a big trend i really would not recommend um like using a hashtag like v okay so like a hashtag like vtuber right damn near everyone uses a hashtag like vtuber that thing is so saturated but Let's say you make art for a specific VTuber, they usually have an art tag. And if you do that for a VTuber that's like of middle to smaller size, there will probably be less posts. Um, there will probably be less posts like in that hashtag like section. Hi, Danny. <laughs> Welcome in. Um, yes, understandable. Also, beans. Um, so that, that's a big thing. Um, 
actually found the video I wanted. Please don't start playing. Please don't start playing. Nope, you're starting to play. Silence. Danny, well, <laughs> Danny, welcome into the the cafe. I appreciate it. All right, so I'm going to link this in chat for y'all. Uh, this is a video by Yusagi Chan. Uh, he is someone that Cav has talked about before, and this video is just a fantastic resource. Um, so is their entire channel. So, like, follow it. <laughs> Danny, I don't know if that's a compliment or an insult. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, so to, to uh, like, round out <laughs> my semi-ramble for you, Stardust, is um, you want to engage with the audience that you're shooting for and you want to create content that relates to that audience and that utilizes hashtags for like search engine purposes <laughs> thanks danny appreciate that um so Danny, since you're jumping in late, I did do the presentation already, but, uh, I mean, after the stream, you can watch the VOD, and I'm going to be, of course, Stardust, um, I'm going to be trimming this down and putting it on YouTube, so I'll eventually be, like, posting that link on Twitter when I'm done with it, um, but if you have any social media questions, feel free to ask. I'm planning on being live until about 8-ish, or, or until, like, I guess y'all run out of questions. I, 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 <laughs> I wasn't prepared to get this far. So uh, thank you all so much for like coming out, like being here and listening to my presentation. Like I was, <laughs> I, I was genuinely worried that no one was going to be here. and I was just going to be talking to myself, but you know, I, I, I really appreciate y'all. I really do. Um, Cause this is something I, I, I'm really passionate about. I care about and I'm glad that I can share it with some of you. <laughs> I, thanks. This community is made of support. Aww. <laughs> oh, thank you, Stardust. I, I, I'm, I'm trying. I'm, I, I am trying to just have those cozy vibes because really that's, that's just what I, what I want. Also, y'all will see uh, Pretzel Rocks in the uh, the chat. Uh, I highly recommend just opening them and having them either for stream or just to listen to because they have great music options. <laughs> Thanks, Danny. Only the coziest vibes. I'm quite literally going for the embodiment of fall, so... Let's see, say you're someone who needs to learn about mark making connections and networking. How would you go about networking and keeping up with peers within your field? This may fall in line with someone engagement, not asking for myself, but networking is something I've always felt is an extremely important necessary piece of the puzzle. Networking is a bit of a complicated one, and I do plan on covering that as like its <laughs> its own like thing, uh, its own presentation networking okay so networking usually is the result of two similar parties interacting with each other and like being in communication with each other so like graphy for example you could say that you and i have networked because I, you and I, like, I reached out to you and started asking you questions on Twitter, and you and I talked more, starting to get to know each other more, and, you know, eventually I commissioned you for the design of my boy. Um, and the same thing goes with DJ. If if DJ is still here, DJ did my uh, my my PNG tuber that y'all see right here. Um, did I do that right? Did I network? Uh, <laughs> love that. But yeah, um, actually, let me see if my commands work. 
Uh... And now we're bros, bro. Yeah, exactly. Um... Hey, there we go. Go follow DJ. Although, probably the only person who isn't is Graffy. So, Graffy, check them out. I, I highly recommend them. They, ha they have cool art. Um... Oh no, it so uh da, da, so no no it it's so you see this little drink in front of me? That that it's a boba drink. I got it from uh, an artist from a thread that I found. Yeah, no. It's it's nothing cursed, thankfully. It's 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 not it's not horny, no. Um <laughs> Um so that so that's the thing so yeah i i try to be say so although if if i ever stream at like ungodly hours i will get tired to the point to where it just my brain shuts off um don't worry i like i could be a degenerate i just would rather not at the present moment there there will be times where i intentionally choose to just not right now um Okay, so Graphy, getting back to your question about networking, um, it really, it, it really boils down to communicating with people in your like, in your niche sphere. Please do not be constant DJ in my cap. <laughs> no, I won't. Um, it, it has to do with constantly interacting with and. Um, engaging with people in your sphere um, so for example if I was cab and I wanted to build up my network I would interact with other horror vtubers and other horror content creators that are around the same size as me I'm not saying that you can't like interact with people who are smaller or larger than you but Part of networking is also like having a value proposition in a sense. Um, and Kev has mentioned this, I know, a couple times when people have asked him if he'll do collabs with certain people. Uh, okay, yeah, Pebble, that's 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 a good way of putting it in a basic sense. Um, yeah, no, that, that's a good way of putting it in the basis of sense. Like I said, I, I, I plan on doing a presentation that's a lot more in-depth than this. <laughs> um, but as of, for right now, I'll say in, when it comes to networking, find, like, go to the community that you want to appeal to and interact with people there. Because... Um, the, the more connections you make there and the more of those people who become um, followers and who actively engage in your content can eventually become solid people a part of your network. Oh, Danny. <laughs> oh, I appreciate that. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Pebble. Welcome to the cafe. See, see you later. Uh, I'll probably see you in Cav's stream on Thursday. Um, so, yeah. By the way, if any of y'all have, like, um, other questions you think of, feel free to uh, DM me on Twitter or DM me on discord um and i'll try my best to answer it for you otherwise uh, i'm i may or may not add it to my current queue of topics and questions <laughs> that i want to do presentations and cut stuff on um yeah holy crap how's it almost been an hour wow y'all got me really just going off <laughs> I, I was not I was not prepared to just kind of present and then keep talking about stuff for half an hour. Damn. So 
speaking of what speaking of Twitter oh I it would help if I could spell there we go um, you have the knowledge and knowledge is good oh thank you I, I mean I there is someone I, 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 mm, I don't remember who it is, but there was someone I follow who said that they want to provide as much information as they can without a paywall because they think that everyone should have access to that information. And I agree. I, I don't think that there should be any gatekeeping to how to use social media to, like, promote what you like and care about. And, and Danny, don't think I missed your question. What if we want to ask how your day is going? Uh, I mean, really great <laughs> right now. Um, thanks to you guys. Like, genuinely, I, 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 I really appreciate this. And, and I appreciate the, the follows and the engagement. I just, yeah, I just appreciate it. God, I love lo-fi. Lo-fi is just the, the entire mood of what I want my existence to be. So yeah, like I said, I'm going to uh, download this VOD and put it, get it, get a more cleaned up version on YouTube, and then. Uh, yeah, share that. Oh, thank you guys. <laughs> I, I, not gonna lie, when I had the idea of, I want, it's like, I want to be the embodiment of lo-fi and fall. <laughs> it's just comfy and there's just good knowledge. It's nice being here. Oh, Stardust. Thank you. Y'all are gonna make me fucking emotional. Goddamn. I... It's not okay, so I don't I don't know if I should say this, but I'm going to anyways because I'm a glutton for punishment. I am not like um, I'm not like Cab and Minerva and Zozo where I don't have the emotional capacity for love and support. Um, it's more of that I am a very emotionally sappy person, and uh, like. I just, I, I get very emotional and, like, yeah. I'm worried I'm gonna have to stick with the pumpkin. <laughs> you did a fantastic job with the presentation. I'm proud of you, homie. Oh, Graffy, thank you. Stick with the pumpkin moniker. I mean, so, Danny, okay, so uh, I'll speak to that real quick. So, here's the thing. You can rebrand and do whatever the hell you want with, like, what your brand is. And that's, like, such an awesome thing about personal branding. I didn't mention this presentation, but there you have infinite flexibility with your personal brand. Especially when you're not an established creator. Like, that. I, I don't think that's something a lot of people realize, is that when you're not an established creator... You can be you can be whatever the hell you want. And that might sound terrifying, but to me that's like phenomenal. Because you can literally just keep trying stuff and you can just keep doing things and you can keep changing your shit until you find what sticks. Yes, not an established creator yet. I'm hoping I can help some of y'all with that. So like, Danny, like, here's the thing. You can be like Pebble, because Pebble changed their username, but they went into Cab's stream and was like, hey, by the way, I'm this person. I just changed it. And then Cab was like, oh, okay. And everyone else was just like, oh, okay. Because they're an active person in the community, and once everyone knew, like, that person now has this username, it's like, oh, cool. Like... That's really all you need to do. Um, this is the most chill business. <laughs> uh, oh, 
Thanks, DJ. <laughs> I have been to too many business meetings that have stressed me the hell out. <laughs> I mean, you're not. Not being bound to anything is often awesome self-discovery. Graphy, this is why you and I get along, because you get it. Um, but yeah. But <laughs> DJ, I appreciate that. And uh, Danny, so in, in terms of debuting, um... Here, here's where I'll say with that. I, you know, I didn't, like, debut, obviously. I just kind of went, hey, DJ, I, I want a PNG. And I, ga I, ga I gave them money, and, and now here we are. Um, what, if I ever get to the point to where I can actually flush out the full idea that I have, because the full idea I have is a lot more, like, it's a lot more vast than this. It's still going to be cozy, but just more like pizzazz. I, I ha I've, I have mentioned it in the Discord before. Um, so, I, so the fr the first thing is that I, I like. So I want to keep this character, my my boy, my my husky boy, um, especially because I love what. Uh, Graffy did. By the way, Graffy is the one who did the design that I used that I sent to you as a reference, DJ. Uh, Graffy is amazingly talented, and uh, y'all y'all should chat. Hey, I'm helping network. <laughs> um, which I'm gonna. Hey, DJ, since you're here, get supported, nerd. Um, so the, <laughs> the, the full, <laughs> may not have the ability to do live TV, but I got a promising stay on the PNG. Division. Oh yeah, absolutely. Also, you are criminally, criminally under, like underselling yourself. You are cutting yourself and it's a crime. Also, yes, I dared. You can't do anything about it either. Um, so <laughs> I'm so glad I figured out how to do commands. That was, that was worth it. Um. So, Stardust, the idea that I have, I'm trying to think of how to summarize this. Um, I had the idea for taking my character and making him a child of Cerberus. Who uh, came to the human realm because he got bored of, ha he got bored of hell. Uh... And also just got really, really curious about human, like, culture and civilization. Um, and he, as a result, may or may not have gotten addicted to coffee and opened a cafe. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. So, someday, if, if this really goes somewhere, the... Um, what I eventually want to have is to have, like, a full mixed with Greek-influenced cafe. Um, and have a, like, actual three-headed Live 2D model that is very hipster with a little bit of Greek influence thrown in there. I, I have some basic sketches, but I'm, I'm still working on it. That's the point of my price is not everyone can get art, so I let people get a chance to. Aw. DJ, that's really nice, actually. Okay, I, I get that. But, so here's the thing. I, I understand, but I would also just make sure that you're not, like, underselling yourself too much, if that makes any sense. Because your art's cool. And, uh... Yeah. I like it. Greek Cafe with Fall Vibes. Sign me the hell up. 
Yeah, that's I, I'm I'm working on some rough sketches and stuff because I do not currently possess the artistic talent to do what I want. Um, so I will either end up uh, outsourcing and supporting other creators, or I'll figure it out myself. <laughs> um, and the other thing is that I think I know what style I want. I'm I, I'm definitely not going anime. Uh, I want more Western, but there is a, uh, there is a, there is a specific game that has to do with Greek lore, and I absolutely love the art in it, and I just kind of want to have that aesthetic with Fall. I want to see your vision. It sounds cool. Oh, thank you. It, it was one of those things where I was just talking with my partner. I just went, I had an idea. Yes, you're right on the money, Stardust. I absolutely love the pen and ink inspired, like, portraits and the inspired art. It's just phenomenal. Also, that entire game studio is, like, a gem in and of itself. <laughs> I, I said way more than I probably need to for y'all to understand exactly where I was coming from. <laughs> um, yeah, Super Giant. I, I, here's the thing though. I actually haven't played Hades, and it's a fucking crime. It's a travesty. And uh, I need to get it. And I do plan on getting it soon. I just need to. Um, no, I know. <laughs> big he who brains no i know i know stardust it's it's a goddamn crime uh i i am going to get it it's the next game i'm gonna be getting um but i i got pulled into back for blood first by a couple of my my friends see but dj i do not have that nor do i have uh an xbox unless unless that stuff works on uh pc but, I mean, I'd rather just get it on Steam anyways, to be honest. Would you stream Hades if you got it? If my computer can handle it, yes. That, that's entirely the plan. Oh, it does? Hmm. I... Okay. DJ, you, you might be helping me here because I am going to figure out how that works. I want to hear your knowledge of Greek lore with Hades. <laughs> I, I will try. I do need to brush up on it a bit. Um, let's see. Oh, ten bucks a month really ain't bad, to be honest. Um, but I shall see. I will need to look. Oh, side note. If y'all haven't played Transistor, you really should. It's a, it's a super giant game, and it, it's great. Great aesthetic, and it's quite fun. Um, oh, by the way, because I'm, I'm looking at stuff in my other window, um, y'all should go check out uh, Gen Z. They are... Um, they are the uh, brain. They are the art director for Supergiant, and they have a lot of awesome art from all of the Supergiant games on there. They also retweet a lot of really cool fan art, so de definitely go check them out. Also, uh, there's going to be a, ha a Hades uh, Zagreus Nendroid, if any of you care about those. I just think they're adorable, but I cannot get into collecting another damn thing. <laughs> I, I collect enough things as it is. Very for small streamers, due to the amount of games you get for just 10 bucks a month. I mean, that's entirely fair. Um, 
I'm gonna have to see. I'm gonna. I'm gonna have to see what I would need. Why not add one more to the collection? Uh, because no, because ADHD go burr. I already had to like scale back on my damn pop figure collection. Damn, everyone's hyping up the game pass. All right, I gotta. I gotta make sure I. I actually like. I actually pay attention to that. All of Doom, Fallout, Elder Scrolls. Ooh, I actually haven't played uh, Doom Eternal. I played, uh, I played the Doom 2016, and it was awesome. Um, I did not play the new one. Oh, <laughs> Gravy, I don't have a throat anymore. I used to. the The only Funko Pop I currently have left is Jack Skellington. And, and that's okay so if if y'all want to hear like a really cute thing uh and, and want to know something about me um my partner and i started dating on halloween of my freshman year in college and we started dating right at the end of the nightmare before christmas so uh, so yeah, so I have a Jack Skellington pop, and I believe she has a Sally one. Um, and that's just kind of, that, that's just been kind of our motif, if that makes any sense. So every year in Halloween, in October, in Halloween, in October, we, um, you know, we watch it at least once. Um... And we're actually, we're, we're going to be, have been together for four years this Halloween. So we're actually going on a trip, which, uh, I am very excited. I need to actually go buy tickets and stuff for her. <laughs> I know. Yeah. It's, it's, it's nice. Yee. Yee. It's nice having adult money because adult money allows you to do things that you couldn't do in college. <laughs> Thankfully, the other nice thing is that we're both like fully vaccinated, so which is good for me because I'm asthmatic and my lungs are slightly trash, so um, I'm not I'm not too terribly worried. Hey, look at me. I can adult things. Pretty much. I mean, I don't have to eat ramen every day after getting adult money. I mean... That, uh, that, that, that depends on how much adult money you have. currently looking to see wow i have seven viewers i have never had this many viewers what in the actual hell hi i'm annoyed because i have adult money but keeps going to everything yeah that's kind of a mood premium robin you know what stardust just learn how to make ramen yourself and go through that process and just make it for like a whole month and freeze it it's fine Ooh. Let's see. <laughs> I will. I'll do it. <laughs> okay. Um. Learn from the old masters. I mean, you can just Google it. Um. Let's see. I'm looking for someone to raid. A 
Okay, I see that Cotton, Oki Deer, Esme, and Pebble are all on. Anyone in particular y'all want to raid? For games and magic. Oh, DJ, no, you poor soul. Not Magic the Gathering. Oh, you, you poor sweet summer child. I'm so sorry. Y'all want to go raid Pebble? Well, I see a vote for Pebble. So... I've played it for years. DJ, I made the mistake of letting my fraternity brothers get me back into magic, and I spent an godly amount of money on the three commander decks I have. And, and, and DJ, you're going to understand this. I have a doubling season, and it was it is the most expensive card I own. It is pain, but I love it. All right, I need to remember how to raid people. You, what do you mean you, DJ? Oh, you are, oh, you are insane. Or, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna DM you on Discord about magic because I, okay, real quick. Is that for different decks or is that in like one deck? Like one standard deck because you can't have dupes in commander. <laughs> Ooh, awesome. Hey, it worked. Um Um okay. So, I don't I don't have emotes because I am not uh I am not an affiliate nor a partner. So, um use any emotes you want. Um, my, my only request is that you all just spam, you all just throw in dog pile. Let me see if I can. I just buy them at the right time. Oh, actually, we could do a bean raid. You know what? I like I like Danny's idea. Do a bean raid. If you have toe beans of any kind. Beans dog pile. Alrighty. Well, thank you all for coming. I really appreciate it. And I'll uh I'll talk to you later.